Say good morning, sunshine. Can't do this at the apartment, huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> Probably could, but fire department may not like it. <laughs> Check out the plants over here and see how everything's doing. You guys, something's eating my tomatoes. I need to put some dirt around them. I haven't had any time, and when I do have time, the weather isn't helping. So, this one here is being eaten on. I don't know if you can see it. And this one's almost dead. This one's not doing terrible, but needs some dirt. And the other one right here is gone don't remember what this is yeah I think there's something in this bucket that's actually munching on those mm -hmm. that's what I but think too I also think it may be gone because they're trying to grow back yeah Well, I didn't use just plain potting soil on them I mixed it with compost yeah, maybe I'm that's good that's, well, I don't know. But the onions are doing, yeah. But, oh! I know exactly what that was. Oh. It was a plastic bottle with a cap on it. Uh -huh. Something got shot in the fire. So the carrots are doing spectacular. My gosh, they're so pretty. <laughs> well, what do you know? All right, so let's traipse over here and check out everything else. Gino's been busy. He's got uh, the fire pit all ready for Melissa's visit. My bestie from Wisconsin coming down to visit this weekend. Yes, I will get videos. Don't you worry. All right, so. This is one of my green beans. There's a tray of lettuce that I transplanted from over here that um, is just in bad shape. And I have this little guy. Now mind you, I can't tell you what half of these are. But I'm growing stuff and I know it's edible. Uh, my tomatoes are not doing well this year. And I was bragging on my tomatoes, man. Just bragging on them. I'm going to leave those there. Oh, hello, Mr. Worm. Look at him right here. I would pull him in half if I tried to pull him out. But well, I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I maybe when the sun comes out, if the sun ever, comes back if the sun ever happens to appear again in the state of Oklahoma. Yeah. But um, hopefully it'll dry up if the sun comes back out sometime today. But anyway, here's the morning. Ooh, that smoke's hurting me. Oh, we got a squirrel back there too. Birds, geese. Squirrel back there in the background. Gino's got his squirrel. <laughs> oh, I forgot to flip my camera. Oh there, well. There once goes one of those bees. I'm trying to learn this video thing, you guys. Hey, they're trying to catch stuff over there. Who is? Mm. I guess maybe. Goose, goose. Hmm, that tells me there's something down there that shouldn't be roaming around down there at night. 
What are you talking about? They have three. Oh yeah, beavers. Beaver traps or muskrats or huh. something. Well, interesting. <coughs> Squir uh, not squirrels, uh, possums or raccoons. No, no knowing what kind of traps those are. Hmm. I wonder where the guineas are. Uh, they were floating around up in there earlier. I don't know where they're at now. You know how guineas are. They fly around everywhere. You should not hear them. them. I must be settled down or something, but I yeah. not, not during the day. Well, it's chilly, so yeah. maybe. So, hopefully the weather holds up, because we got it all situated out here. So we can have us a nice little fire, chit-chat, <laughs> hang out, maybe roast some wieners. Shut up. So, I got a sunflower. You guys know that. And uh, I put it outside and something ate it. And so now it's starting to come back. And there's... Uh, nope, I thought that was... I thought there was something, but there's not. Sunflowers did uh, very badly. But, but you know, you we excuse me. We live and learn. I'm learning. I think you're cute too. <laughs> Hi, Dino. Hey. Me? <laughs> Not so cute. This cage you only have to buy it one time, and it'll do the job. I'm gonna put them around my. Uh, Big vine and tomatoes, and I got one from the pier that I'm going to put it on, too. And the reason why I'm putting them on my indeterminate tomatoes, if you don't know the difference between indeterminate and determinate, indeterminate just keep growing. They want to continue to die, but they keep going, and they'll produce tomatoes pretty much all in a single time. Uh, so they get really, really, I don't want to say like big. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so. Today is Wednesday. I uh, couldn't tell you what date it was. Maybe the 12th? Let's see. Friday is the 14th. So yes, today is the 12th. Um, I'm out here weed eating because that's what needs to be done. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Check it out. Birds are singing. Geese are flapping down there. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but... Um, so Gino has both pair of my sunglasses, so it's making it kind of hard for me to see out here, but uh, I'm getting it done. So, the last time I mowed and weed eated a couple weeks ago, a week ago, whatever it was, um, my weed eater died and then it got too late and I couldn't finish. With all the rain that we've had, it has been treacherous on this yard, so... Um, since Melissa's coming on Friday, and I don't want to spend all weekend out here in the yard working, um, we're going to play this weekend. That's what we're planning. So, girl weekend. Can't wait. So anyway, I thought I would get out here today and do all this uh, kind of a mess cleanup. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, I can't mow over here because they spread gravel. But I'm going to go ahead and weed eat all of this here just around this part. I'm not doing on the other side of the fence because I don't ever go over there. Um, but I'm going to try to clean up all this over here. i got to box up the garden hose um, because I don't know if, if I even posted that video or not. But that garden hose, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want my weed eater to fall on me. But this garden hose, this is a uh, fiber something, fiber jacket I think is what it was called. It's from Expert Gardener and um, quick little story about that and I'll link some videos to it or put them in the description or whatever. Um, but that garden hose was $50 at Walmart and it was a 100 foot hose and it was supposed to be lightweight, no kinks, no nothing like that. 
and um, I get it out here and I hook it up to the water and uh, what two days maybe two three days minimal use uh, the only time I used it was to spray the the plants and uh, I'll show you guys those after a while but the only time I used that hose was to spray the <laughs> the veggies in the buckets and you guys know there's what like 10 buckets so not a whole lot of usage so it busted and luckily I had registered it online on their website and I got a hold of them um, via their website and told them what happened and I, I just was kind of telling them I'm kind of disappointed because I had hoped it would work and um, anyway they sent me another one like I don't know maybe the next day or two um, it was in the mail and it was here within a week um, <laughs> funny story about that is that uh, hey Gino the the bee spray didn't work they're still out there so all right um so anyway back to the hose Jean had taken it to Walmart with the receipt and gotten the money back. So essentially, I got a free hose. Uh, my opinion, if they're made that poorly, they should just be given away. <laughs> so um, anyway, I got back on the website. I said, hey, I did it again. It busted again. Yes, the second one, the, first, the replacement that they sent me. Um, it busted too and that's right there I just showed you guys that one so uh, anyway I am now waiting on another uh, garden hose but it's gonna be a polymer kind of texture he said it's more sturdy uh, for the kind of work that we're doing I guess watering plants is <laughs> a little bit more than some garden hoses can can handle so anyway um, since we're on the review kick let's do it this way I'll show you guys see how tall this is see all that that's so tall this is what I've done with this absolutely love my works weed eater power shark It's awesome. It is. It's the most awesome little weed eater. I'm sure that there's more powerful ones out there. This is a 20 volt, and uh, the battery is is kind of short lived. But I did around the uh, the propane tank, and I've done all this, and then you know right through. Did all of this right here with it so far. And I don't know if you guys got that, because like I said, I can't see out here without my sunglasses. Whew, okay, back to the shade. Now I can see a little bit better. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, get busy before I run out of daylight. I got a lot to do. I'm going to try to mow a little bit. Um, see if maybe I can do... Get it looking a little bit respectable, you know. It's, uh, it's not terrible, but... It's a little bit more grown up than I like. So, all right, you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll check back in as I can. Mwah. Big kiss, love to you. <sighs> Except for the 20 volt batteries dying, I think before they should. Um, I have no complaints. This machine is awesome. I've had this one for just over a year. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks. I uh, got my ex-husband one when they first came out years ago, and uh, I don't think he ever got to use it. I always used it, but I will show you what it did. Y'all see how? Y'all see how high that grass is back there? That's how high it was right here too. And I can't mow this area missing some spots right there but I'll go back and get those and then over there along the fence 
<laughs> my battery died, so I had to go get in my other battery. And then I got sidetracked with other stuff, but I'll come back and get what I missed. But I can't mow out here because the gravel. But uh, this is everything that I weed eated with this bad boy. And then, uh, of course, propane tank over there. You know, I don't do a perfect job out there, but, you know, I get the majority. I get up here where we hang out, where we sit, you know, where we relax, where we work. I don't want snakies or critters coming around and crawling up in our stuff. So that's why I do that. All right. So I am, uh, I'm doing some additions here Jess over at Roots and Refuge I don't know if that little worm's gonna make it but Jess over at uh, Roots and Refuge she says that you should add dirt to certain things and so that's how I do it um, I fill it up enough to get the the seed germinated, get it going a little bit, and uh, and then I let it go, and then as it grows, um, I go ahead and add dirt to to it. If I find worms, I'll put them in there. There's a little wormy I put in there. So yeah, so this is my green bean. That's my other green bean. Something's eating on them. I don't remember what this is. I want to say it's tomatoes, but I might be wrong. Could just be a pot of weeds for all I know. Anyway, let's walk over here and see what the other stuff is doing. I added some dirt to this tomato. Hopefully, it will. Uh, it'll survive. Okra's not doing real good. I think it's just not hot enough yet. And this is uh, peas. And my tomato transplants are not doing... Oh, man, they look bad. I'm hoping that the weather will warm up and help them out. I'm just going to leave them alone and pray for the best. And uh, the onions there. Carrots are doing spectacular. I accidentally got water in them, so that's why they look like that. But And uh, another tomato that I'm trying to save. And then another one down there. There's two in this bucket. There's, there's this one over here. And then there's this one down here. But... And I've got some more stuff over uh, over here. Let's go walk over here and take a look. Oh, this ground is so uneven. It's hard to walk when your back hurts. Woo. All right, my lettuce is doing pretty good in that. Um, it's just a it's a little container that I got something. I don't know some takeout dinner. I got it in that, and uh, I decided to use it for transplanting my, my lettuce there. And this was the original lettuce, but it, it looks bad. I mean, it's, it's growing, but it just looks bad, and it doesn't taste real good, and I think it's just bunched up too much, which is why I did that. So, anyway, I got work to do. Y'all hang tight. I'll be back. Hey you guys, I um, wanted to kind of do a follow up, kind of a summary uh, of the day and let you guys know where things are now. Um, as you guys know by the beginning of the video, my best friend Melissa is coming in this weekend to visit. 
Um, she is coming from Wisconsin. So Wisconsin and Oklahoma are 12 hours away from each other. Um, so there's that. So she's coming a long, long way to celebrate my birthday with me. And that, um, uh, that's kind of awesome. So, um, I am getting ready to turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some people say I don't look it. You don't look that old. How old are you? You're still in your 30s. <laughs> yeah, okay. That'd be awesome. I would I would absolutely love that. If I were If I were still in my 30s, so much would be different today. Um but anyway, I digress. Um she is coming all the way from Wisconsin to Oklahoma to hang out for a weekend and um, our plans are to go to the zoo I have not been to the Tulsa Zoo I've uh, been in Tulsa for two years now just over two years and that is on my bucket list so we are gonna go do that and see some elephants and some big cats and just have a blast you guys are of course invited via video so no problems I'll be uh, definitely taken some some pictures and some videos um, we also are expecting rain um, we're expecting some storms not looking forward to that at all but you know it's Oklahoma it's May and why not so in order to prepare for her visit uh, we we got the bed out of storage so she would have somewhere to sleep um, wood floors are probably not ideal for for the uh, uncushioned individuals yes I'm talking about you Melissa you skinny thing um, wow what else did I do today I, I just cleaned the house you know I got everything kind of put up and organized and uh, we needed the yard, did a couple of plants, you know, just kind of hung out. Um, I'm looking forward to her visit. And um, I think we're going to have a really great time. So, um, a little backstory on me and Melissa. You guys may enjoy, may enjoy this. Um, we met well we've never physically met we met online through um, our old job that neither one of us has anymore but we met through an old employer and um, she worked in the South Carolina branch and I worked in the Oklahoma branch so um, I ran the sales contest uh, for the business for the company and so I called all of the branch cities on a day-to-day -day basis for different reasons um, it was it was just a big corporate job that you know things got to be done over the phone things got to be done through email so we talked a lot we got familiar with each other we hit it off we became really good friends and now she is my heart she is my sister and she is the sassiest little woman I have ever, ever had the pleasure of knowing. So, you guys are in for a treat this weekend because we're going to be some crazy individuals. Um, anyway, you guys have a good night. I'm going to chill out. I am trying to watch a movie. Uh, Cameron Diaz and Selma. Oh, Selma. She's the cutest little thing, and she was just in Legally Blonde with Reese Witherspoon. And she played Warner's girlfriend, Vivian Kensington. Haha, <laughs> how's that for good trivia? Alright, so the sweetest thing. I want to say it's Selma Blair. Um, I may be wrong on that, but anyway, little dark hair girl, totally cute. But I'm trying to watch this, so that's what I'm going to do before Gino comes home. 
and before I got to get dinner ready. So you guys have a great night. Bye.